Hey everybody, so today I wanted to share with you guys how to use your Willow third generation breast pump. So I've been using this pump for a couple of months now and I have a pretty good hang of it. So I thought I would walk you guys through what it comes with, how to put things together, even some stuff after you get done with a pumping session, just kind of walk you through it all. Because obviously it is a pretty unique pump and there is a pretty good learning curve with it. So anything that could be helpful for you guys, I just wanted to throw out there for you. This video is sponsored by Willow, but you're gonna see here in just a few minutes how well this pump works for me. So it's not like I can lie to you guys, you're gonna have the evidence here in just a few minutes. And I have also done a complete review of this pump as well. So I'll link that down below for you guys, but let's go ahead and get into what you get with your pump. So this is a look at what comes with your pump. Obviously you have the motors. I have one flipped over so you can see the inside and the outside, but they are identical. So this side is where you will place your flange and you know, it will attach to you on your breast. And then the outside has a few buttons. If I can get my camera to focus, there we go. So it has the power button, decrease suction, increase suction. And then up here is either start or pause. And then all the way down at the bottom, each side does also have a power port. So that's what that's where you will charge them. And then it does come with two bottle brushes as well because some of the parts of the willow are pretty delicate. I would recommend using these. They were very handy. I just stick them right in my boon drying rack to dry up after each time. Very, very nice. And then you obviously do have your instruction manual and I would recommend flipping through this and reading it thoroughly. Honestly, it's one of the best breast pump manuals out there because of the visuals. Very, very helpful. They make it pretty simple and once you start doing this stuff over and over again, it'll kind of become second nature. So over here, this is the flange. Now, depending on whatever size you may get, depends on what will be in your box, obviously. So I am a 21 millimeter flange and you can see right down here, that's where it's labeled at. I guess that's backwards to you <laughs> right there. And with these flange, you use the bags. So you will also get some bags with this as well. And then also with either of the flange, you will get a flex tube. So this is what it looks like. That's a part that attaches to your flange. And of course you do have a charger. Now there's only one of these, so you will have to charge them one at a time, just so you know that. And also sold separately, they do offer a reusable container. So when you order that, you will get a manual with this to learn how to assemble it, how to use it, the ins and outs of it basically, and then you have all the parts for the reusable container. So this is a look at the container itself, then you have the little flange piece, and you have another flex tube, and also something that goes up on the top to seal everything. So it may look like a lot, it may look complicated, but I promise once you do this a few times, it's not not hard at all. It just kind of becomes something that you do to get ready to pump. So this is basically everything that you would need to pump. Now, typically when it comes to pumps, I do show just one set of something. However, the fact that you can have the reusable container or the bags, I am going to walk you through both sides and I'm going to use both sides so you guys can see what that looks like. So now that I walked you through everything that it comes with, I am now going to walk you through how to assemble these parts. That way we can go ahead and get ready for pumping. I zoomed you guys in so you're not going to miss anything and this might look intimidating, but I promise it's not. It's actually really simple and once you do it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. But when these do come to you, whether you go with the bags or you go with the reusable container, they will come assembled. However, you should you know, unassemble them and wash them, sterilize them, everything that the manual recommends. So I'm gonna show you as though you've already washed, you've already sterilized and everything else. So with the reusable container, like I said, it does come with a few parts, but we're gonna start with the reusable container itself. You can see right here, it has this notch and this part over here has one that matches. So you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna drop this down inside. And an important thing to note is that this should be unlocked on the back. Now, you'll have to do that to get it out in the first place, so it should already be there, but just in case you're not able to push it through, it somehow locked itself, you just wanna give it a good push until it's flush against the flange, as you can see, and then you'll go ahead, you'll turn it over, and you will lock it into place. So that right there is the bulk of it, honestly. So you're just gonna keep it on its back here. You are going to take this, and as you can see, there's a little port right here. You're just gonna slip this right over that opening. And this is looking a lot more difficult than it is just because I'm trying to make sure that I keep everything in frame for you guys. And then you just go ahead and you press this down inside and you wanna make sure that it's on one. So make sure the little one is peeking out. Turn it back over. And then you're going to go in with your flex tube. 
I like to put mine right here to begin with. So you're just gonna squeeze this little piece down and then you're going to take this and you're going to give it a little gentle push downwards and then pop it right back up on there and then you just make sure that it's nice and flush against where it needs to be. I took that nice and slow so you guys could see everything that I was doing, but honestly guys, I assemble this in like 10 seconds, not even. And then with the milk bag, you do have a couple less parts, but it's really just as simple. So you're gonna start with the flex tube in the flange. Again, I just start with my flex tube by putting it on this way. There's a notch right here and you are going to take that flex tube and you're going to place that hard blue piece and you're gonna push it down until you hear a snap, just like that. And then you're gonna turn it over, you're gonna press up on this blue little tab and you can see the door pops open and you can swing it up. And then you're going to take your bag and make sure down here at the bottom where it says this side up, you can see that in white writing right there, you're going to place it over the back bring it around front, and then you're going to push these two together. You're just gonna make sure that both of them are very flush, there's no gaps or anything like that, and then I just fold my tab like this, push the door up, and then back down so it is locked into place, it cannot swing open whatsoever. And then you wanna turn this around. The bag is bigger than the flange, so you're going to have to tuck this. So I start with making sure that it goes past these things with the flex tube. I give it a gentle push down inside here. I have to be extra careful with my fingernails. Obviously, I don't wanna nick a bag or anything. These bags are pretty tough, but you can't ever be too careful when it comes to breast milk. And you just wanna push it in like that. So that is what this is going to look like. So on both sides, I am now ready to insert these into the pump and get pumping. Now that the flanges are ready to go, no matter which one you're using, it's really simple to get things started. So you're just gonna take a flange, and like I said, you're going to bring it to your breast, and then you're gonna take the pump, you're gonna turn it on, you'll see it start glowing, and then you're going to bring the pump to your flange while holding it in place. You'll hear them connect, and then now you're able to hit the start button. And then once you do that, it's going to start and try to latch to you. And then once it has latched, it will start in stimulation mode. And from stimulation mode, it will automatically put you into expression mode when you're ready. And in expression mode, you do have the increase suction, decrease suction options. So it'll be counting your ounces the entire time. And should there be any complications, whether you know parts aren't assembled correctly, you need to empty one of your containers, or it's just not getting a good latch, it'll notify you on the app. That's also where you can see your timer, you can see how things are going, you can see the ounces you have so far. It'll keep track of all of that in the app. So like I said, I'm not gonna show you guys how I'm pumping, but that is the gist of getting started. And then when I get back, I'll come back to you guys to show you how to empty your container, take out your bag, stuff like that. But as far as settings go, pumping should never be painful. There is a setting that should express milk very well for you without hurting you. Discomfort is normal if you are new to pumping or new to this pump, but that should subside with time and with some use. However, it should never be painful. If there is pain, I would look into troubleshooting, you know, flange size, suction level, things like that. Make sure you are always working from the lowest level of suction upwards. There's a misconception that you need a lot of suction to have an efficient pump, and that's just not the truth. Every mama has a setting that works best for her. It's just gonna take some use to find yours. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use both of these, and I will come back when I am ready to empty them and walk you through that as well. All right. So I am all done. As you could see, it was letting me know that I was all full, but I was done anyways. So this is just a look at my session and this is pretty normal for me. My right side, you can hear the pump still going a little bit. The right side is a little bit of a slacker. Slacker boobs are completely normal. So not always perfect, that's completely normal. So I'm gonna put this down and I'm going to unlatch the side with the bag first because that one is a little bit simpler. Okay, so as you can see, there is still milk in the tunnel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this so the blue thumbprint is coming towards me. I'm going to tilt it. And you will hear it's now gonna start gulping. 
And now I'm going to rotate it entirely upside down, which sounds unnatural, but trust me, there's eight gulps in total. So once that's done, you can tip it back over. And as you can see, there's no longer milk in my tunnel. So now what you can do is you can lift this away. And as you can see, your pump's all there. My left side's still <laughs> going a little bit. Now, if you did still have some remaining milk in the tunnel, you'll just want to, you know, obviously pour that off to the side into a bottle or anything. But when I tip mine over, I typically don't have any left in there. But to take the bag out, all you do is you carefully are going to press up on this blue thumbprint. So the door pops up, you can lift this. And all you do is you pull this right out carefully obviously take it out of the flange and there you go now you are able to go ahead and freeze this in your freezer okay and then for my left side i'm going to unlatch this one this had the reusable container now obviously whenever you are pouring out of here you can pour it into a breast milk storage bag you can pour it into a bottle i have my daughter's bottle she's going to be wanting one here pretty soon so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it into there. But again, as you can see, there is milk in my tunnel. So what I'm gonna do is basically the same thing, except we are going to switch this to two right away. So still keeping everything nice and where it's supposed to be, but this just gets switched to two. We again are gonna rotate this towards us, tip it upside down. It's gonna begin gulping. After about four gulps, you're gonna go ahead Tip it upside down. Again, sounds very unnatural, but just let it go. Again, there should be about eight gulps in total. In total, you can turn it back around. Then you can go ahead and pull this away. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like maybe a drop or two of milk down there. If there's more milk in there, you can absolutely go ahead and pour it off to the side. But there was so little in mine that it doesn't want to come out. So to avoid any kind of splashing or anything like that, you can go ahead, turn this dial back to one so you could hear the air release. And then you're just going to pull this tab up and then you just pour straight from the spout. So I have my daughter's bottle right here. And there you go. That is how you get that empty. Like I said, you can pour that into a storage bag, into a bottle, you know, wherever you are going to be putting your breast milk and it's good to go. Someone actually is here right now for her bottle. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> and that's basically everything as far as when you're done. Now your app will ask you to rate it. You can really go in and make sure that you are hitting all of the things that apply. You know, this step is really important. And in that way, it'll give you better feedback for next time. And then you can obviously go in anytime and see how much time you spend on each breast, how many ounces all together. Everything will be right in there for you. And like I said, it is important to fill that out. But that's basically everything besides making sure that your pump is charged and ready to go. You know, I highly recommend the reusable containers. They've been amazing for me. I find them very, very convenient. Personally, I'm happy that I have both. I use the reusable container on a regular basis, but there are times where I'm gonna be doing stuff where I am bent over a lot or things like that in different positions where I would like to use the bags. Because with the bags, you can even use this pump laying down. It's crazy. That's about everything besides cleaning them. But like I said, just using the little bottle brushes it comes with, it's not too hard whatsoever. But if you guys have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.